Hello and welcome to this video. I am Karnesh Jori and this video is about regular expressions in C language. Regular expressions are used to search for strings in files. Most of the time, we do not have the exact string to search for. We have an idea and we wish to search for strings related to that idea. For example, we might wish to search for duplicate consecutive words in a file. As we will see in this video, we can write a regular expression to search for duplicate consecutive words in a line in text file. In this video, we will look at regular expression concepts and C language API calls for using regular expressions. And finally, we have a C language program using these API calls. And we start with a question. What are regular expressions? A regular expression is a pattern used for searching strings. It is a string of characters, some of which may be meta characters, which have a special meaning. If it is a simple string like ABC, it matches strings which are exactly equal to it. When it contains meta characters, like for example ABC backslash W star, it matches any string starting with ABC followed by zero or more alphanumeric and underscore characters. So it boils down to the fact that a regular expression matches a set of strings and this set can be an infinite set. The use case of regular expression is that from the problem at hand, we identify the set of strings of interest to us and then we write a regular expression that matches strings of the set. And once we have the regular expression, we can use it to search for strings in the input text. Regular expressions were introduced by American mathematician Stephen Cole Clean in 1951. Regular expressions found two major uses in software, first in pattern matching in programs like text editor and second in lexical analysis in compilers. There were variations in regular expressions used in programs and these were standardized in POSIX.2 standard in 1992. There are two major variations in POSIX.2 regular expressions namely POSIX basic regular expressions BRE and POSIX extended regular expressions ERE. And also we hear a lot about regular expressions in Perl so there are Perl compatible regular expressions PCRE. The C language API deals with the first two POSIX basic regular expressions and POSIX extended regular expressions. Now there are fine differences in syntax between the two but more importantly extended regular expressions provide more functionality which we need. So it is better to use extended regular expressions ERE as the norm and as we will see we can select extended regular expressions by using reg underscore extended flag in the regcom call in the C language API. The next question is how do we construct regular expressions? What are the building blocks? What are the rules? The first rule which is most basic is that any character C except for special characters matches itself. So if there is a character A in the regex, it will match A in the input text. Character B will match B and C will match C and so on. If you wish to match a special character in the text, you need to turn off the special attribute by putting a backslash before it in the regular expression or regex in short. Caret anchors the regex to the beginning of a line in input. Similarly, dollar anchors regex to the end of line in input. Dot matches any single character. Next characters inside bracket in regex. This will match any of the characters in brackets. Then we have classes. Lower or backslash L is for lowercase characters and upper or backslash U is for matching uppercase characters. Alpha matches any of any alphabetic character uppercase or lowercase. Digit or backslash D matches any digit 0 to 9. 
backslash upper kiss d matches any non digit a l n u m matches alpha numeric characters that is union of alpha and digit classes then this is widely used backslash lower case w which is for alpha numeric and underscore characters backslash upper case w is for non word characters and backslash b is for word boundary then we have classes for punctuation characters graphical characters space or backslash s for space tab new line etc backslash upper case s is for non space characters blank is for space and tab c and t r l is for control characters and x digit or backslash x is for hexadecimal characters then if we put a caret before characters in bracket then any character not in brackets is matched now r star that is regular expression followed by star means that the regular expression is matched zero or more times r plus is for matching regular expression one or more time r question mark is for matching it zero or one time r braces n is for matching exactly n times whereas r braces n comma is for matching it at least n times r braces comma m matches regular expression r at most m times and r braces n comma m matches it at least m times but not more than m times then r1 r2 regular expression r1 followed by r2 this matches r1 r2 r1 or r2 matches either r1 or r2 then the most important parenthesis defined a mark sub expression a string matched by sub expression can be used later using the construct backslash n where n is a digit from 1 to 9 and uh, backslash n is for back references that is a string matched by nth sub expression earlier in the regular expression and now we look at c language api calls for regular expressions there are four calls regcomp regexec regerror and regfree we shall look at each call one by one the first is the regcomp call before a regular expression can be used in a program it needs to be compiled by compilation what is meant is that regex needs to be converted into a form such that it can be used by subsequent api calls regcomp is the call for compiling regular expressions it has three parameters the first is pregex which is a pointer to a regex t structure the caller needs to allocate memory for this buffer and pass pointer to it as pregex regcomp returns the compiled version of regular expression in the buffer the second parameter is regex and the third is c flex c flex is a bitwise or of zero or more flex there are four flex the first is reg extended by default basic regular expression bre syntax is used but if you use reg extended flag posix extended regular expression syntax is used while interpreting the regex the second flag is reg i case which means ignore the case of characters and case insensitive search for pattern matching is done in subsequent reg exec call the third flag is reg new line this means that no regular expression matches a new line so you can do pattern matching on characters other than new line in a line and then we have the reg no sub flag which means that position of matches need not be reported in subsequent reg exec calls the parameters n match and p match would be ignored in subsequent reg exec calls reg comp returns zero on success and an error code on failure the next call reg exec is for matching a regular expression against a given string p reg is the pointer to a compiled regular expression p reg has been returned by the last reg comp call and the string against which the reg x is to be matched is the second parameter the fourth parameter p match is an array for returning information about the matches it is an array of type def struct reg match t which has two offsets rmso and rmeo if rmso is minus 1 
the data from that index onwards is invalid and is to be disregarded. If RMSO is not minus 1, it is the start offset of a match substring within the given string. Similarly, RMEO is the offset of the first character after the matched substring. Now bear in mind, we are matching a regular expression against a null terminated string. And each call of regex gives a matched substring. The information about the match substring is returned in p match 0. Now you can have some sub expressions inside the regular expression. Sub expressions are enclosed in parentheses. The data for the match sub expressions is returned in p match indexes 1 onwards. The third parameter in regex is n match, which is number of elements in p match array. It should be at least one so that the information about the matched substring is made available. If there are more indexes than sub expression matches, the unused indexes have RMSO element as minus one. If you do not want any data about matches, you can pass null for p match and zero for n match. Or you can use the flag reg no sub in previous regcomp call. The C flex are mostly zero. Reg exec returns zero on success and reg no match on failure. The reg error function is for converting a regular expression API error code into the corresponding error string. The parameters are error code p reg pointer to the compiled regular expression, error buffer for storing the string, and the size of the buffer. If error buffer is not null, and error buffer size is not zero, the error buffer is filled with null terminated error string. The error string is truncated if it is bigger than the error buffer size minus one. Reg error returns the size of buffer required to store the complete null terminated error string. So one way is to first call reg error passing null for error buffer and zero for error buffer size. Then reg error returns the size of buffer required. Using this value, an adequate buffer is allocated and reg error is called again with this buffer and its size to get the complete error string. And finally, the reg free function. It is called with a pre pointer as a parameter. Now reg free does not free memory pointed by p -reg. It rather frees internal data structures associated with p -reg. Reg free should always be called after other regex API calls like reg exec and reg error calls and before the next reg comp call. And now we have an example program find str which takes in two arguments a regular expression and a file name. It reads the file one line at a time and finds matches for the regex on each line of file. For each match, it prints the matched substring. If the regex has sub expressions, it prints the substring matched by each sub expression. For each substring, the offset from beginning of the line and also the length of the substring are printed. Let's look at the program. First the hash includes and then a macro to find the size of an array. We have two character buffers, re for holding the regular expression in text form and buff for general purpose use. Then regxt regx. This will hold the compiled regular expression. We validate the arguments. Copy the first argument regular expression into re. And then we open the file for read. We compile the regular expression using the regcomp call and the flags. We use reg extended for extended regular expressions. Reg i case for case insensitive search and reg new line so that no regular expression matches a new line. Then we read the file one line at a time. In the inner for loop, we look for matches for the regex. And for each match, we print the substring, the offset and the length of substring. So that's the program. We have an input file named input, which has lots of duplicate words. We wish to find the duplicate consecutive words in this file. The regular expression for finding duplicate consecutive words in a line is parenthesis backslash b 
backslash w plus backslash b parenthesis close parenthesis backslash s plus backslash 1 backslash b parenthesis close plus we can compile and run a find str program it prints both the lines in the input file since both lines have duplicate consecutive words it also prints the matched substrings their offset and the length you can use find str in two ways first as we have done here search for strings matching a regex in a file second you can use it to validate a regex just make appropriate test input and pass regex as the first parameter to find str see if it works and we come to the end of this video you can find all this information at https colon double slash tiny dot one slash regex please subscribe to soft Prayog for software related videos thanks very much for watching take care and stay safe